This is a uh, Bob Miller Wild Turkey. Let's see if I can show you that label. Uh, study casting. It's actually the wildest casting of his that I have. I recently uh, attained it and I'm blown away by the detail. Um, you can see all the detail in the ears, around the ears, in the eyes, the bill, top of the head, and if you look real close on the photos that I took, you'll see that there's still feathers. Um, attached to this casting. Um, I mean the real deal right here you can see. I'll zoom in a little. Get that. Pretty amazing. So I'm finding that um, on some of these it's more um, difficult to photograph than others and so I think the combination of the photos with the videos um, works out really well. If you want to find the photos they will be on my Facebook page The Artistry Studios. There's a link in every video to get you there. But it's important to have um, some reference measurements, so I'm going to give those to you now. Um, the uh, distance between the eyes The uh, actual eye opening seventeen. The uh, width at the hinges of the upper and lower mandible. Just over 29 millimeters from the hinges to the tip of the bill. Fifty-two millimeters. Opening of the nostril from front to back. Just over eight millimeters. distance between the nostrils and the front thirteen and a half millimeters distance between the points of the upper mandible fourteen millimeters The size of the ear holes, if you count the skin around the outer edge of the ear here, that would be 13 and a half. And the little, the hole 
the actual opening is only 8.3 millimeters. The little, it's like a bone actually, in the ear is about 2.1 millimeters. It's consistent on both sides in the ear. The distance from the center of the lower mandible and where the feathers would start. The, the, their skin Let's do the distance between the end of the lower mandible and where the skin starts is 18 and end of the lower mandible to where the feathers begin is 27.5. The length of, I don't know what they call this, a waddle, I'm not sure, is 38.1 millimeters. And the width of that It's 22.2 millimeters. Interesting detail. And here, you can still see hairs or feathers, barbs from the actual specimen this was cast from. I don't know how many of these he made, but for this to still have feathers on it is um, amazing. Here's more feathers. I thought I was seeing things when I started photographing this. So, the, the detail will be um, really prominent in those photos I told you I was I took already and I'll post those on my Facebook page so I hope this uh, will inspire somebody to carve a wild turkey Let me zoom in on some of this detail and hope it will focus I'm not sure that it will Here we go. Now I'm going to have to go look up the name of that piece of skin coming off the forehead. Pretty cool. And zoom in on the top of the head here. That's pretty, uh, pretty detailed. Well, we let most cameras 
from the cardinal rules is not to zoom in, but it's the only way I can do videos like this. Look at the top of that head and the texture, the wrinkles. wild turkey and we're not talking the drink <laughs>